Good afternoon, Dr. Eric here, Fanwood back for Leaf Center. Today we're gonna to give you eight tips to help maintain a healthy weight. Uh, obviously these are not all inclusive, but these are a few tips that can help and has helped me. Uh, so I'm gonna refer to my notes here. So the first thing is journaling. Um, nowadays, we have tremendous amounts of apps out there where we can track um, the amount of calories, the amount of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats we're having on a daily basis, as well as the amount of walking and exercise. So whether you do it you know, through a computer app or you do it in an old school journal, it doesn't matter. Uh, the fact that you're actually logging it and recording it, it creates accountability for yourself and helps you stay on track. That's number one, so journaling. Number two, when to eat. I like to play around with uh, different time frames as far as when I eat. Sometimes I'll eat you know, three or four meals a day. Sometimes I'll eat one or two. Some day, sometimes days I'll do longer fasts. Uh, I'll skip breakfast, I'll skip dinner. I mix them around and play with it, keeping my, uh, my body's always kind of like, don't know where to go as far as the metabolism is concerned. And I notice in my own case, it does help me either if I want to gain some muscle, if I want to lose some weight, um, I can play around with these different measures and make a difference uh, in my actual weight numbers. Um, Self-control. So what I typically notice is that um, when I eat, sometimes I have to stop and say, give myself a little time because I notice with my personal self, I'll just keep eating and eating and eating and then I'll be over full. Sometimes I'll eat a portion um, and then I'll wait a little while and if I'm still hungry, I'll snack on either more food that I had for that meal or a healthy snack. Um, but if you're, if you're consuming and you're just consuming and consuming and consuming, I notice there's a delay in my system and sometimes um, I will be over full for hours afterwards. So just waiting a little bit of time before you after, after you eat your meal to see if you, you're still hungry or if you would like to just call it quits for the day. So self-control. Uh, what to eat. Um, what to eat is very important obviously, but a lot of times this comes out of either laziness um, where you know, you, you, you're just trying to grab something really quick um, or you're in a rush or whatever the case may be, you're working, you're with your family, um, preparing meals beforehand or even snacks can make a big difference because when you're hungry, you can go to and grab those things that are more healthy, whether it's a piece of fruit, uh, some lean protein, nuts, um, those things will be healthy. If they're ready and prepared, it makes it a lot easier. Um, if you're not preparing at all, then you're gonna grab the first thing you see um, and a lot of times that can be a bad decision. Uh, read and following labels. Uh, it's important to get in the habit of looking when you're shopping or even when uh, a lot of the restaurants nowadays will put the actual calorie counts, uh, macronutrients on the labels. Um, but if you, if, you, if you get in the habit of reading, not only what's actually the ingredients are, because that's important as well, but how much, how much sugar is there in, in per serving, how many servings in, in what you're actually eating. So, you may have to do a little math, but it, get into the habit of looking at those labels. It will help you manage what you eat as far as portion control. Um, front load your calories, very important. So I try to eat a lot of my, my calories earlier in the day. Uh, research and studies have shown if you're eating uh, a lot of those calories later in the day, right before you go to bed, it can affect your sleep patterns, but it can also have you pack on weight much easier. Uh, beverages. Um, try to stick to the beverages without any sugar or calories or limit them. Um, I try to water, tea or coffee. Um, try to not consume your calories or drink your calories with those sugar, sugary drinks, even if they look healthy. Read the back, see how much sugar is in it, uh, how many carbohydrates are there per serving and be careful of that as well. Uh, so beverages are important as well. Uh, and then lastly, number eight is eat more protein. Um, lean protein, meats, um, I eat a lot of meat, I eat a lot of uh, eggs, fish, um, uh, also non-starchy vegetables which don't have a lot of sugar content or even low glycemic fr uh, fruits as well. Um, so those are eight tips. So let's re recap, food journaling, when to eat, uh, we talked a little bit about that intermittent fasting or time restricted eating, um, self control, um, preparing meals ahead of time, snacks, um, 
what to eat as far as um, when when you when you're looking to eat you know if you have those pre pre prepared snacks it's help helpful self control um, maybe waiting a little bit after you eat a large meal to see if you're still hungry 20 30 minutes later uh, front load your calories earlier in the day try not to try to avoid having them later in the day or the evening before you go to bed uh, be aware of your beverages try to stick to non sugary uh, low carbohydrate drinks and then lastly eat more protein protein is going to serve a lot of different roles it's going to it's going to satisfy your hunger um, and it's going to help to suppress suppress eating you know sugary foods um, or junk or garbage food uh, and one more thing with the beverages um, you know drinking a lot of water throughout the day can actually um, keep you full as well and help to um, stabilize and kickstart your metabolism as well um, it helps to maintain that healthy weight um, any questions about these eight tips uh, again uh, this is not everything and all and everything but it's good helpful eight tips here if you have any questions specific questions about these give us a call uh, we do um, help people with the weight loss um, we help you on an individual basis customize a program for you um, any questions shoot us a message if you like the video please like and support we are grateful for all the support that we, that you, we get each and every day uh, and hopefully you enjoy the rest of the day talk to you soon